So you know this Claire Daly? Yes. Uh, she's our favorite member of the European Parliament, right? And uh, she's a real fighter. She's Irish, right? She's Ireland. Right. Here we go. So she had something to say. Listening to the cheerleading in here, safe and secure, thousands of miles away from the front lines, I think it would be a useful exercise for us to remind ourselves about what ordinary Ukrainians are experiencing. The Economist reports of forced recruitment across the country. Draftees with no experience or training are being sent to the front in what a UK minister calls first world war levels of attrition. Casualty figures are secret, but we know their estimates of about 120,000. Battalion commanders tell the Washington Post of recruits fleeing positions en masse. Politico record reports a crackdown on deserters. These are human beings, and there is a shameful lack of empathy for ordinary people in the war rhetoric in here. The debate is about keeping the weapons flowing to keep the war going. Ukraine is burning through a generation of men, sons, husbands, brothers who can never be replaced. This cannot go on indefinitely. And ye sickening war generals who sit in here and will these men to our debts, you make me sick. We need peace. We need dialogue, however unpleasant that may be. Just so you know, Ukraine's getting slaughtered. I was at dinner last Saturday with four people, and they were convinced that Putin's getting his ass kicked. Oh, that's why we keep sending them billions of dollars, because mm. they're doing so well? Because we're about to win. That's why it keeps costing more money. Even the newspapers now are admitting it. This is the Washington Post. Ukraine short of skilled troops and munitions as losses and pessimism grow. Even, even the Washington Post now is admitting it. She's not lying. Took three of them to write this. <laughs> I know. Uh, so, have you heard about that? Yeah, I've seen it. The dragging people off. So, what's going on in Ukraine now? So, they've gotten so many men have been slaughtered. A hundred thousand soldiers, they say, have been slaughtered. Mm -hmm. This is the real tragedy of this war. The real tragedy of this war is the Ukrainian people are being slaughtered in a proxy war that they don't want. What the United States wants and NATO wants, and so we're having it. And it's so bad now that they're literally kidnapping people on the streets of Ukraine and forcing them into service. You think I'm kidding? Watch this. The guy's probably, who knows? Does the guy have kids? Does the guy, he just doesn't want to go to war. Do you believe this? Люди, які залучені до цієї роботи, насправді такі самі мобілізовані і кілька місяців тому або кілька днів тому are assigned these duties when they are conscripted a few months or days ago. They have not received sufficient training for the specific nature of this work. The commander has strongly condemned the way it was organized. The commanders of the local and regional recruitment centers have faced disciplinary measures. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think they have. So she's just trying to explain it away and here it is happening again i saw a different one but i've seen a lot of these that's a, that's happening these are isolated cases well, why are they ha happening at all what isolate such a person must first be sent to a medical check to find out where they are doing this for a picture so that's the russians would later talk about it and so so i don't understand what this guy's even saying He's trying to say propaganda. He's trying to say this is propaganda, but you're not denying this is happening. It's happening. This reminds we have me video of it. That's how often it's happening. Go ahead. Well, my friend Adam, you came on the show with my friend Adam. Mm -hmm. such Adam. So I'm talking on the phone because I love bringing up the Nazi thing because people know that that's a thing, and but they got to find a way. It's okay that it's like, well. Well, now they say we have Nazis in America. Well, if China invaded, right? He says this to me: If China invaded the United States. <laughs> Wouldn't the Nazis fought to defend America? Wouldn't you team up with like 
No, no, I wouldn't. No. Would, wouldn't you let Nazis drag your kids out of the house to fight the Chinese <laughs> <laughs> with a Nazi like imprint over the American flag? Uh, crazy, dude. Let's watch the rest of this. So they they just keep trying to say these are isolated cases. These are isolated cases. These are all isolated cases. I alone have twenty, he said. The Ukrainian recruitment officers can demand to see a person's papers at any time if they are registered for potential military doodles, duties. So I don't really care about this. But did you see that? Did you see that, Kurt? It said a random poll. A random poll. Is that like, as, as did Rachel Maddow conduct it? Is that why it's called a random poll? No further information on that a poll. A random poll? What does that mean, a random poll? Who, who did the poll? A random poll. I don't, that doesn't sound like a poll. A random poll found Ukrainians relaxed about the work of recruitment officers. I don't know what that means. A random poll? You got to tell me who where the poll came from. They show their documents and they ask to see yours, this guy says. If everything is calm and quiet, then they move on. They even have a chat. They said they could call me up at any time. So this guy now, look how old this guy is. And they go, they said they could call me up at any time. By the way, it's a harder life in Ukraine. This guy's 18. Anyway, uh, it says they issued me a document stating that I can go free. Showing that I have been in the military registration and enlistment office. Ukraine announces general mobilization in 2022. This was a fully five. That's it. So that's wild video. I've heard about that happening. I couldn't believe it until I saw that video. Holy cow. I didn't know there were that many. I saw a completely different one showing. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. That one good. How could you make someone go fight in a war like that if they don't want to? I mean, it just... I, well, I mean, it's how the Soviets help push back the Nazis. They throw them in and you shoot you if you don't go out and... Like, they're just cannon fodder. We just need more bodies to throw at this. Yeah. They, what do you think? They fight in a different way than Russia fought? It's all the same. It's all the same method. Well, wait till you see what the former Australian Prime Minister says. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see my new stand-up special, COVID Lies Are Funny. For only $10, you get to become a premium member, too. And come see us do our live shows. We're going to be doing stand-up comedy in Milwaukee, Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, New York, Coho's, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Maryland, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets.